السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله شهد أن لا إله إلا الله شهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله All praises due to Allah We praise Him We seek His help and refuge I bear witness that there is no God except Allah alone with no partners or associate in Muhammad His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I ask Allah to um, make it easy for us to make it through this uh, holy month and to accept us in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, today, this will be the first um, halaqa or the first recording of uh, the purpose of Ramadan. We will have four, four of them. And um, this one, we will talk about the main purpose of Ramadan. There are um, several reasons and goals and purposes for the month of Ramadan. Uh, based on the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the interpretation of the meaning, all who you believed, decreed upon you is fasting and it was decreed upon those before you that you may become righteous or you might perform um, taqwa to obtain taqwa that's that's one of the main reasons and this is what we're going to talk about today the main reason for it is to obtain taqwa to gain taqwa uh, to be a righteous person to have self-control to be accountable for your own self Nowadays, they offer workshops and we go to uh, schools and to professional development to teach us and to learn from them the accountability, how to be accountable for your own self, for, for your own work, uh, for your own duties, how to uh, hold yourself accountable. If you get to that level, if you obtain the taqwa, then you will be able to resist the wrongful desires and bad habits and this is the real battle between the human beings and the shaitan this is the real battle between the person and his own desires because this is the test in, in this life is to compete with your own nafs own soul and to compete with the shaitan to make it all the way to the jannah is to resist the wrongful desires that you have. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anh, used to say, take account of yourselves. Hasibu anfusakum qabla an tuhasabu. Take account of yourselves before you are taken to account. And wait your deeds before you are wait. So this is the time to have that relationship between us and ourselves together. Also, we need to know that when we perform the taqwa, it has different levels. And the stronger the taqwa you have, the more careful you are with every single step you take in this life. We always have to perform things. We, ha we always have to do something in this life. We always have to better our life, our situations. But then we have to make decisions every single day actually every single day we can make several decisions and those decisions if we have enough taqwa high level of taqwa then we're going to be careful and taking into account this life and in the hereafter if you have a stronger taqwa then you will be careful with your relationships what kind of relationships do you have are they halal or haram what do you do with your friends do you do you have uh, uh, friendships that will uh, lead you to Jannah or is it the opposite? Um, how do you deal with your parents? Are you obedient? Do you listen to them? You not? You don't listen to them? This is all goes back to level of taqwa. If your level of taqwa is high, then uh, uh, you will perform better. Also, how do you deal with something that doesn't belong to you? For example, you see something in the street, you see something, uh, you deal with um, ownership of others when you're at work, when you're at school. Uh, you are taking a test, an exam, uh, in the, in, in what, wherever, school, college, university, and you are able to cheat. Will you cheat or not? Then the decision you will make goes back to the level of taqwa. If your level of taqwa is very low, you will, you will make a poor decision. If your, if your level of taqwa is high and is strong, then you will make uh, a better uh, decision. And also, uh, 
to make it clear, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, one of the nights, he 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 was rolling in his uh, bed where he used to sleep at, and then he felt something um, wet underneath him. He reached it and he grabbed it. He found it a piece of date. It's tamra, and he was so hungry during that time. And when he was he wanted to eat it, he thought about it twice, and he stopped. And then when he was asked, he said, I was afraid that it will be uh, from the tamr of the charity. Kuntu akhsha an takun min tamr al-sadaqa. That's how careful, even though he was sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he was so hungry during that time. But his taqwa is very high level in his, in his heart. So he had to think about it twice. He had to take his, himself into account before uh, he regretted it later on. So as a conclusion, the higher the taqwa, the better person you are. And this is the month that we need to perform the taqwa. We need to go back to ourselves and, and ask ourselves several questions. We tried to make it better during this month. This is just as a theoretical point, but inshallah with the next lessons, we will talk about practical ones. هذا وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وأسأل الله أن يتقبل منا ومنكم صالح الأعمال والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.